Askren. Technical brilliance by Ben Askren. His opponents know exactly what he's going to do. They just can't stop it. Beautiful takedown. If you're Douglas Lemon, you want to start fast, I think. Oh, right hand. That's it. Man, that is a fight in Ben, be prepared. I'm going to be ready. If I'm coming hard, I'm coming to win. Don't talk to me unless you want me to bring it. One of the greatest American wrestlers of this generation. Has a rear naked check in. I want to finish this guy. I'm going to knock him out. That's bullshit. I'm going to take Douglas Lima down. He won't be able to stop that. And I'm going to put some, you know, brutal, brutal ground and pound on him. My power is going to be his kryptonite. Not only my right hand, but everything. Kicks, knees, you know, that's what I'm going to use against him. Breaking Douglas Lima is something I've been talking about. I don't think he's been in the cage for as long with anyone on my caliber. I don't know how resilient he is and how he's going to hold up to my attack. Look at that from Askren, manhandling. Bellator world champion. I always want to fight, you know, tough guys. The number one, I want to be known worldwide. The reason I'm a champion is because when it comes down to the big moment, I got the mental fortitude to get it done where they could fail. There's nothing stopping me. I'm going to be that champion and I'm going to take that belt. I think all of us need a purpose, and my purpose is being great. I want to be the best mixed martial artist that's ever walked the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, now set to make his way to the cage, earning his title shot as a tournament champion, Douglas the Beanhawk Lima. Douglas Lima won the Bellator Season 5 welterweight tournament last fall. He defeated Steve Carl in the quarterfinal round by unanimous decision, then defeated in the semifinals Chris Lozano by spectacular one-punch knockout in the second round, and in the final defeated Ben Saunders by second round knockout. Lima, born in Brazil, raised in the United States. His parents have moved back to Brazil. They are watching this fight live tonight from Brazil. He said it is an absolute party at my parents' home. Entering this fight, Douglas Lima said, I don't think there's any secret in this fight. I'm here to knock Askren out. Becoming Bellator welterweight world champion is my only goal in life right now. I am coming into that cage to take the belt from him. Douglas Lima holds the rank of brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but he has gained fame in mixed martial arts through a devastating right hand. He has. The guys who feel it do not see the end of the bell. He starches them. And now ready to make his way to the cage, the reigning Bellator welterweight world champion, Ben Punky Askren. Ben Askren became Bellator's second ever welterweight world champion October of 2010. He won a five round unanimous decision versus then world titleist Lyman Good. In October of last year in Kansas City, Kansas, Askren made the first successful defense of his title. He won a five-round split decision versus Jay Haran. Askren, a phenomenal amateur wrestling career, four-time All-American, including two-time NCAA Division I national champion at the University of Missouri. He then went on to represent the United States in freestyle wrestling at the 2008 Summer Olympics. Set a record for pins. This is a guy who didn't just want to, want to win, he wanted to get falls against the best. When I saw him when he was wrestling at Missouri, most of his matches were a joke. He had guys completely outclassed. Ben Askren said entering this fight, of course I have to respect Lima's one-punch knockout power, but I'm going to do what I've done to everyone else. I'm going to take him down, put him on his back, and beat him up. What's refreshing about Ben Askren is that he always says, I'm going to look for the quick takedown. So many takedown fighters, ground fighters in this sport say, I want to work on my striking. Askren says, I'm going to take him down quickly.
Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Lockout in theaters, April 13th. You see the height, Douglas Lima, six foot one. Ben Askren, 5'11", that's important. Ben Askren fights very small. He hunches up and gets underneath the punches of Douglas Lima. That's what he's going to look to do. For the Bellator Welterweight World Championship and the official introductions, we send it back to Michael Williams. Bellator Fighting Championships along with Caesars Windsor, routinely spectacular. Tonight from the Coliseum, now present five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Office of Athletics Commissioner, cage side, Mr. Ken Hayashi. And brought to you tonight by Lockout in theaters April 13th. And now, first, introducing the Red Corner at six foot one, weighing in at 170 pounds even. The season five tournament champion brings a professional record with 21 victories, four defeats. Originally from Goiania, Goiás, Brazil. Now, out of Atlanta, Georgia, introducing Douglas, the Phenom Lima. And across the cage, the world champion fights out of the blue corner at 5'11", weighing in at 169 and one half pounds. Tonight, in his second title defense, he enters undefeated. Nine professional wins, no losses. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen, the defending Bellator welterweight world champion, Ben Funke Esprit. And the referee in charge of the action, Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, I've been over your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. So let's, let's go back. Let's do this. This world title fight is under the unified rules of MMA. It is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Douglas Lima Go, is in the ready? gray trunks. Ready? The champion Let's Ben fight. Askren is in the black trunks. Round number one, Josh Rosenthal is the referee. A reminder, we will stay with you to the conclusion of this fight. Short left hand thrown by Askren. No surprise here, Askren going right in for the takedown. Kick by Lima on the outside. Askren already in stalking mode. Oh, good right. Low kick by Lima. Lima said, I know Askren will take me down. It's not going to affect my striking. I'm not concerned about being taken down. Levi Askren. Askren going for the high knee. Going for the inside trip. One thing about Lima, man, he is a gigantic welterweight. He is middleweight sized. Askren has been working extensively, and I do mean extensively, on his striking. But still, he said, I know I'm not a pure striker. I am still a wrestler in MMA. That's what is what makes him so dangerous as a fighter. He doesn't try and really get out of his comfort zone. Kick from Ben Askren, then catches the kick of Lima. There's the wrestling world class. Man, that is a beautiful throw. Not a lot of guys can hit that on Douglas Lima. And Lima, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt, closes guard. Askren is quick to remind us, of course, he does also hold the rank of brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And his style is funky. He has the best nickname in the business. It, it, it describes his style, his wrestling style, and his jiu-jitsu style. It's very funky, a lot of mobility, a lot of movement. Askren stacking now Douglas Lima, throwing the hammer fist in the conventional Watch right hand. Nice, this is not where Douglas Lima wants to be. Lima holding half guard. So far, according to plan for Ben Askren. This is exactly where he wanted to get this fight in the early stages, not even two minutes in. Very hard to get hip mobility against Ben Askren. He's so tight, he keeps his hips very heavy. And when he wants to move, he moves. That's the one thing about his style, is he's very mobile as well. He transitions very well. Askren securing the right foot of Douglas Lima with an outside toe hold, trying to throw the reverse hammer fist with the right hand. Just like that. So much movement from Askren on the top. That's the back of the head, Douglas. Warning to Lima by referee Josh Rosenthal for a punch to the back of the head. Oh, Lima going for the sweep, and he got it. He's on top. Beautiful step over by Lima, then trying to lock on the Kimura. This might not have been a good idea. Going for the submission, he ends up on the bottom. Submission escaped in the right hand for good measure by the champion, Ben Askren. 
don't want to scramble with Ben Askren. He'll come out on top almost every time in those positions. Better strategies if you get, you know, get in that sweet position, stand up. Some fighters will tell us, Jimmy, I'll put myself in a bad position to get to a good position. Asker will put himself in any position to get to any other position. Yeah, he just, he scrambles and moves really well. Close guard again by Lima. Lima trying to throw from the bottom just like that, misses with the right hand. Asker misses with the right of his own. Oh, going for the armbar. Askren from trying to stack Lima, and Lima going for the armbar indeed. Askren now staying sticky, staying tight. He's opening his knees up now. Askren pulls his way out cool as you like. Short, flipping right hand by Lima from the bottom. Right hand by Askren and another. Lima fishing for triangle position. And he got his left, I'm sorry, his left leg stuck. Askren just stepping over now, stepping to the back. Nice roll by Lima, but then right hands by Askren. Final minute of round number one. Askren looking to go knee on the belly, another right hand and another. Short and sharp and another. He depends on his balance and his ability to avoid sweeps in this position. See, most guys in this position, you can sweep pretty easily, but... Man, Ben Askren, just great balance. Ben Askren's ground and pound far from devastating. He doesn't land big bombs, but he keeps throwing. Half guard held by Lima. Final seconds of round number one. The champion in the top position, just let go with an elbow and another. Ben Askren seeing things his way through the opening five minutes. Well, that's a Ben Askren round, no doubt about it. There you see the wife of Ben Askren, Amy Askren who had the good fortune of growing up in Kansas City. Move your feet. Don't worry about landing big, get the hands moving. Just watch that low kick, okay? Breathe, doing good. You're doing great on the ground. Just stop, don't rush the takedown. Kick, he'll kick back. Kick, he'll kick back. That's your easy go, okay? When you kick, he can't help but to kick back. Breathe, you won that round. You're looking great. Good, you moved out. Good. Looking great. Good. Up. Oh, that's it. Breathe. You see here from that first round, Ben Askren throws the kick when Lima kicks back, puts him against the fence. Beautiful throw. Later on, Lima able to get the sweeps here. Grabs both feet. This is Jiu Jitsu 101. But you see, he stepped over and went for the arm rather than standing up. And Ben Askren is able to scramble out of that position, wound up on top. Jimmy, in the relatively short history of our sport MMA, there have been far more accomplished wrestlers than Ben Askren. This sport has been filled with Olympic medalists and Olympic gold medalists. I'm not sure that any MMA fighter in the history of this sport has been as committed to their wrestling as Ben Askren. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there are guys, you know, Kenny Monday fought once in MMA. Kevin Jackson was a world champion. Outside trip, then to the mountain. Lima lost it just as he got it. Ben Askren doesn't care about anything but wrestling when he fights. Rulon Gardner in MMA for one bout against Yoshida, and he really didn't wrestle. Tried to be a striker. Askren is about his ground game, his wrestling, and to a lesser extent, his jujitsu. Lima again holding half guard. How did you see round one, Jimmy? 10 9, Ben Askren. No other way to see that round. Lima looking for the sweep. Askren having none of Going for the toe hold. Askren trying to step out. That toe hold, though, is locked by Lima. Now he's putting a lot of weight on his foot. He gets out. Askren did not even flinch. No, that, no, <laughs> you don't understand. He was countering it by sitting his weight back on his foot. Didn't look like a lot, but it doesn't take a lot. He's sitting his weight back. It's a very efficient way to get out of toe hold. Dive in right by the champion, Ben Askren. Close guard again by Lima. 
You know, one of the problems with the guys who fight Ben Askren is they generally don't have a sense of urgency. His ground and pound isn't devastating. It doesn't, you know, he hasn't really rocked guys with his ground and pound. He doesn't go for a ton of submissions, so you don't realize you're in trouble until the round is over and you lost. And Jimmy, to your point, Ben Askren has gone the distance in his last five fights. That's three three-rounders and two five of uh, two five five rounds. Uh, yeah, two five five rounds. <laughs> Leave, leave, leave the math to me, Sean. I don't handle that kind of stuff. He goes to a lot of decisions, let's put it that way. And the one, the one finish he did have, uh, you know, against Ryan Thomas was due to an error by the referee. So he hasn't shown he can finish at this level, but, you know, a, a win's a win as far as Ben Askren is concerned. I really should have tried harder in math when I was in school. <laughs> that was hey, shocking. We all have our strengths and weaknesses, Sean. I don't know anything about soccer, so come on. Askren again in top position. You see Lima trying to roll the better position. Rolled in the closed guard. Askren posturing up on his knees. Now to his feet. But you see, you know, but you see what I mean about Lima. I mean, he's kind of rolling around and he's going for things. But there's no sense of I need to do any one thing because, you know, it's not like he's getting hurt. It's not like he's in submission trouble. But it's easy to lose rounds this way. Askren knee on the belly, stacking Douglas Lima, and, and more right hands. And Askren's very busy. He doesn't let up with his pressure. More elbow strikes by Askren. Right hands, then the elbow, then a forearm for good measure. Askren letting go with the right. Let me tell you, Sean, 50 punches hurt. I don't care how hard they are, they hurt. They will take their toll, and that's it, man. That's what happens with Ben Askren. It's death of a thousand cuts every time. Lima looking to explode up, looking for the up kick. He just can't find it. Look at the pressure, look at the stacking ability from Ben Askren on Douglas Lima. And that's all balance. Normally a guy in that position, you sweep no problem. And yet Ben Askren is confident standing right over his man. Lima again closes guard, brings his man close, chest to chest, and Askren lets go with left hands to the body. You know, Ask right to the body. Askren, when we talked to him, questioned the stamina, the endurance of Douglas Lima. You see his strategy here. Draw him into the deep water, one punch, one takedown at a time. All right, let's advance the position, guys. Call for action for referee Josh Rosenthal. Askren again, standing up out of closed guard. Lima trying to load up the up kick. Askren trying to dive him with the right hand, couldn't do it. Lima trying to kick out the back leg now of Askren. Askren just relentless with his top game pressure. Booze from this crowd here at Caesars in Windsor, Ontario. And guess Ain't what, right Ben Askren does not care. Ben is a guy who does not, it, I mean, like, boos are music to Ben Askren's ears. That means he's fighting Breathe. his kind Big of fight, for me, his okay? opponent Big is breath. in trouble. Sit That's up. what boos mean to Ben Askren. It means good. I'm doing what I need to do in this fight. How are you feeling? Great, you can do that all day. Like I said, that kid Again, uh, Ben Askren, an absolutely good. spectacular uh, amateur wrestling career. Truly one of the best tired. American wrestlers of his generation. But the half guard game's great. Yeah. Just stay on those feet so he can't push you away, okay? Breathe. Remember our entry combo right away. Double jab, over, boom, hook, lock, breathing. You're just, you train so good for this fight. You're just picking it up. This is the beginning, like we do it in Sparta back. Heading into round number three of this Bellator right, welterweight world fight. title fight. Douglas Lima versus the undefeated champion, the 2008 U.S. Olympian Ben Askren. Jimmy, how do you see it thus far? Two rounds to none for Ben Askren, both 10 nines. He 
Silva wants to keep this fight standing. He wants to land effective strikes, especially the right hand. And Askren wants to get the fight to the ground just like that. Sprawl from Lima, Askren to the single leg. Now switching to the double leg and gets the takedown once more. You know, Ben Askren is one of those guys, you look at him, you don't think he's that strong, and he isn't traditionally strong. The dude is grappler strong. Once he gets inside, he pulls that leg right to his chest and gets the takedown every time. Next week, Bellator season number six continues. We'll be in AC for the bantamweight world title. The champion, Zach Makovsky, looks to make his first title defense versus the Brazilian prodigy, Eduardo Dantas. And in two Friday nights from this evening, we will be in Cleveland, Ohio. It is the rematch, Eddie Alvarez versus Shinya Aoki. Lima now in triangle position. He has to pull Askren's head down and then angle. Askren doing what he does, stepping over. Askren just sitting down on Lima. He is so unconventional and so effective with that unconventionality. The problem is Lima isn't exploding when he needs to. These little opportunities, these transitions, he's not exploding back to his feet. Askren letting go with the right hand again. Short hammer fist for good measure. See Askren just standing up out of Lima's closed guard. Big right hands now from the champion, Ben Askren. That's the accumulation of punches. And also, it's so fatiguing being where Douglas Lima is, having Ben Askren on top of you, putting all that weight on you, throwing these strikes. It's very fatiguing. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Lima tried to find the sweep, couldn't do it. Askren's balance is absolutely superior. Now going for that sweep again. Not able to get it. And Askren stacking Douglas Lima. Just quiet in the crowd, but Jimmy, this is clinical by Ben Askren. Hey, he's doing what he's supposed to do. More right hands from Ben Askren. You will not see my shocked face when uh, Ben Askren does this. I mean, this is, this is how he wins fights. Puts pressure on you and dares his opponent to get out of it. Like he says, when somebody can stop me, I'll stop doing it. So far, no one's been able to stop it. Now looking like he's going for the Darce choke. Has to get high on the bicep. Oh, he's got it. Astrid locking up the Darce choke, looking for the submission finish, then trying to step over. Lima closes half guard, playing all submission defense, but you see the left arm on the bicep. Lima pops his head free and catches a right hand to the face for good measure. More right hands from Askren. You know, like I said, Askren has had trouble finishing at this level, but the thing is, is that one of the reasons he doesn't is he doesn't commit very much to any submissions. He doesn't feel he's gonna get it, he just doesn't waste energy on it. Askren had the hand on the bicep, locking up the Dars, but never really went full power for the Dars. And he didn't seem to care. Right, he's, right, right. he's too smart to burn his arm out arms out going for a submission. The stand up from referee Josh Rosenthal. Minute 15 of this fight, scheduled for 25 minutes, scheduled for five rounds. This for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship. And it's been essentially one way traffic for the champion Ben Askren thus far. Askren is playing his game, Lima is not playing his game, which was to stand, strike, and land that big right hand. You gotta work, gentlemen. Knee to the thigh by Douglas Lima. Closing seconds of round number three. Lima trying to come forward. Bounce into the step of Ben Askren. Heading into deep water and heading into the championship rounds.
Meu irmão, olha, eu dou pra trás, esse que eu dou, mano. Aí, olha só. Bom. Agora eu quero que você ganhe no meio do ringue, meu irmão. No meio do ringue. E fazer isso que fez agora no final do round. Tá? Vamos, vamos virar essa luta, velho. E é tudo que a gente tem no meio do ringue. Tudo que a gente tem no meio do ringue. Tudo que a gente tem no meio do ringue. Tudo que a gente tem no meio do ringue. Tudo que a gente tem no meio do ringue. Lima trying to angle, but as soon as he gave up this takedown, it was all Askren went for the sweep, but stuck on the arm, and Askren able to come out the back door on Douglas Lima. Round number two, takedown, ground and pound from start to finish. Douglas Lima not able to get in this fight at all. Same thing in round number three. It's just been a matter of how fast Ben Askren has been able to get the takedown. Once he's on top, Douglas Lima has not threatened at all. This will be the first time in his 26 pro MMA fight for Douglas Lima that he will enter round number four. Ben Askren has gone five rounds twice previously in his nine career MMA bouts. October of 2010 when he won this title versus then champion Lyman Good in Philadelphia by way of unanimous decision. In October of last year in Kansas City, Kansas, when he defended this title for the first time, winning a split decision versus Jay Haran. Nice leg kick. But Ben Askren is tenacious with this takedown. You see here, good sprawl by Douglas Lima. Hips all the way on the floor. That's how you're supposed to do it. And Ben Askren gets back to his feet and keeps attacking for the takedown. He short. doesn't give up, he doesn't pull guard, he keeps driving until he gets it. Short knee in that sequence and a short right hand, another knee by Lima, all to no avail. Asterix somersaulting his way out now looking for the up kick. He was looking for what's called a head and arm throw, but he slipped, wasn't able to finish it. Lima allows Asterix to stand. I'm a little surprised he didn't try some ground and pound. Low kick, Lima trying to get off of his shots. Askren caught a knee from Lima as he was coming in. And there again is the takedown. Askren walking through the shots, walking through the knee of Lima. And he just doesn't care. He takes one, he keeps coming in. Close guard again from Douglas Lima. A low close guard from Lima. See Lima trying to work his guard, but just dominated so far on the ground by Ben Askren. Again, Askren knows how to play it out to the finish line, entering a perfect 9-0 in his pro MMA career, and he's gone the distance in his last five fights. That includes two five-rounders. Askren seems to have the style that he could go 20 rounds. Well, if you make him grapple, he's never going to get tired. You know, he's been doing it since he was a little kid. His gas tank is unlimited when it comes to the grappling, and that's where he's able to keep the fights, in his comfort zone. Askren said to me last year, guys such as myself, Rick Hahn, guys who have been to the Olympics, we have been competing at a serious level since we were children. It is not a big deal for us. Even if we lack MMA pro experience, our competitive experience gets us above. He's got the heart of a competitor, the heart of a winner. He knows how to be successful at the highest levels. Now Lima's got that high guard, looking for the sweep, not able to get it. Askren taking a chance, stacking Lima, and Lima just he cannot find the sweep. Gentlemen. It is the superior balance and positioning of Ben Askren, time and time again. The right hand from the champion, Ben Askren. Lima still looking for an up kick. Askren again, just dropping down with all of that pressure. Askren puts his knee on the belly as well as any non-Brazilian that I have ever seen in this sport. And one thing is, you, know, you could put any of Ben Askren's victims in this position. I mean, it looks like Lyman Good, Dan Hornbuckle, any of his fighters, and they all had you know, different backgrounds, different strengths and weaknesses. They all look the same in there against Ben Askren. They can't stop his takedown. They can't get off their backs. Diving in with a forearm smash is Ben Askren. Continually just standing up out of the close guard of Douglas Lima. Askren just said something to the referee Josh Rosenthal. I did not pick up what it was. Final minute of round four. 
Oh, now going for the armbar. Lima trying to lock on the armbar. Askren forced to play defense for a rare moment. And no worries at all for Ben Askren. So slick, great, great submission defense. The submission escapes are not effortless. They're highly technical, but they look effortless. <laughs> I mean, they're they're weird. They're funky. I mean, to say they're tech, they, they uh, they're technical is what I'm saying. Is they're technical, but they're also funky. They're really weird. They're not how most people get out of a submission. I guess if they could be technical and orth unorthodox yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. All right, clean break. Technical in the sense that this is someone who grappled in the Olympics as a freestyle wrestler. Every jiu-jitsu guy I talk to says, hey, why don't they do this against Ben Ackerman? Why don't they do that? It all looks so easy because he makes what is to a jiu-jitsu guy a lot of mistakes, but he's able right. to overcome them with his, his, his wrestling ability, his balance, and his ability to scramble. 20 minutes up, 20 minutes down, the end of round four. Douglas Lima passed three rounds for the good. first time in his pro MMA career. He's gonna come out of trying to round, defeat okay, that son? man, the champion Ben Askren, thus far Stay not having gentlemen. much success. Let's, let's try and finish him with a submission if you can this round. You're looking great. Good, gotta kid him. Remember, gotta keep the head moving no matter what. Head movement, okay? Head movement, head movement. Ganha o meio do ringue, bota ele andar pra trás, Lu. Vamos botar ele andar pra trás. E outra coisa, ó. Ó, jogo de pé, velho. Entendeu? Quando você, você tá defendendo todas as quedas dele, cara. Tudo. Entendeu? Vamos lá, cara. Vamos lá, Douglas. Espera. Puxa, puxa tudo. In his last two fights, Douglas Lima looked absolutely spectacular. Gentlemen, last round. Knocking out Chris Lozano in the second round of his season five tournament semifinal round fight. Then in the final of that tournament last fall, knocking out Ben Saunders in the second round. But Askren will not play that game. He is not going to stand and train, trade with Douglas Lima. He's going to do that. Shoot in. And look for the takedown. Sprawl from Lima. On the back of the head, Douglas. Run by referee Josh Rosenthal to Lima for a strike to the back of Askren's head. Knee from Lima. On the outside trip by Askren. You know, in positions where most guys would never be able to get a takedown, Ben Askren gets one anyway. You think you're out of danger and he takes you down. As much as Ben Askren has been working on his striking, and that's essentially been his major focus, he still has not fallen in love with the fact that he's now a striker, knows how to strike. He goes back to what he does best. You know, so many wrestlers, they learn a jab cross hook and think they're Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, Ben Askren doesn't do that. He knows what he's good at and sticks to it. So I'm gonna do it until somebody can stop me. And right now, Douglas Lima ain't stopping him into the fifth and final round of this Bellator welterweight world title fight. Douglas Lima versus the champion Ben Askren and one-way traffic for Askren to this point. Askren looking to make his second successful title defense. He is well on his way right now. Jimmy, how do you have this fight scored? Are you really asking me that? I mean, I know you have to, kind of. I mean, that's like your job, but four rounds to none, 10 9, Ben Askren. Unless you are blind, that's how you score this fight. Just because of positional dominance, are you tempted to throw in a 10 8? No, he just hasn't hurt him. I mean, for me, a 10 8 round is somebody's rocked. The, the fight's in danger of being stopped. A guy's really damaged, and that just hasn't happened. But easy, four 10 9 rounds for Ben Askren. You should have said 10 8 Lima just to see if our audience was really paying attention to your score <laughs> I hope they do anyway. I would love to do that. I just scored completely for the other guy and to see if anyone's paying any attention to me. I get enough crap for my scorecard, Sean, <laughs> without doing stupid stuff on air. You won't in this fight, Jimmy. I will not. Almost impossible to think that our three province of Ontario judges sitting cage side would see it any differently. But the pacing of Ben Askren, I mean, 
He's fighting at the same pace he fought in the first round. And not only does he have great cardio, it's the fact that once he's in his element, the dude doesn't slow down at all. He keeps that even pace, keeps pressure on you. Guys just wilt under the pressure. Douglas Lima, perfect example. Lima again looking for the up kick, being stacked by Ben Askren. Right hand from the bottom by Lima. Right hand from the top by Askren. And Douglas Lima has just been dominated from start to finish. You said it, he's looked so impressive up until now. And, you know, Ben Askren has just made him look pedestrian. Askren just effortlessly stacking Douglas Lima. Lima is a vicious fighter. He is a buzzsaw. And yet Askren has seen this fight entirely his way, executing his game plan. Look at his track record, Dan Hornbuckle. A, you know, a huge prospect coming into Bellator, looked devastating, looked great. Ben Askren you know, made him look powerless. Lyman Good, a gigantic welterweight, the Bellator champ, and then, you know, Ben Askren just manhandles him. That's what he does. He takes fighters that, you know, have looked so good, he draws them into his kind of fight where he is the king. Askren again showing that superior balance. Standing up out of Lima's guard. And again, Lima stacked by the champion, Ben Askren. Closing seconds of this fifth and final round. Closing seconds of this welterweight world title fight. Askren looking to cruise to the finish line. Shots from the bottom by Lima to absolutely no avail. The bell and the end of the fight. Stay with us, everyone. Officially, Ben Askren has won nothing yet. We're back with the official decision, and Jimmy Smith will speak to the winner. This is Bellator. Ben Askren looking every bit the world champion at 170 pounds that he is with that dominant performance versus Douglas Lima. Still, we await the official decision, but Jimmy, on your scorecard. Clean sweep, 50 to 45 for Ben Askren. I gave him every round, 10-9. Ben Askren looking to make his second successful defense of the Bellator welterweight world title. Certainly feels that it's mission accomplished tonight here at Caesars in Windsor, Ontario. Lima told us, I'm not going to alter my striking. I'm not going to be overly cautious, being concerned about being taken down by Askren. I know he'll take me down. I trust in my jujitsu, but Askren just simply too dominant positionally. Let's send it now to Michael Williams. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for your official decision, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges, David Tennyen, Dr. Gregory Jackson, Jason Rogers, all score the fight the same, 50 to 45, all for the winner. By unanimous decision, and still, the Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. Jimmy is with the champ, Ben Askren. I'm here with your winner and still the welterweight champion, Ben Askren. Ben, you said, I'm going to work my takedown and my ground and pound until somebody can stop me. Douglas Lima couldn't stop you tonight. Not at all. And, you know, I always told you Canadian fans like fighting. Man, I haven't seen an ass whooping that good in a long time. You know, if you don't like the groundwork, there's this sport they call boxing. It's not as fun, though. I suggest you keep on coming here and watching my ass whippings. Bjorn, here with Bjorn Redmeat. Bjorn. Every time someone wins a welterweight tournament, they can look spectacular. They get in against Ben Askren, and they look like average fighters. Utter dominance again. Utter dominance, and you make world-class fighters look like they're beginning. It's just spectacular performance again. Well, we look forward to seeing you against our next welterweight tournament champion, still the champ, Ben Askren, ladies and gentlemen. Now a perfect 10 and 0 in his pro MMA career, and still the Bellator welterweight world champion. The winner, by way of unanimous decision over five dominant rounds, Ben Askren defeats Douglas Lima.